clean, cleaning off my stuff. Hello and welcome to the lighthouse. Um, this is going to be a roomy oracle for the next week. Yes, what is today? Monday? Yeah, we'll do for the next week. How's that? So this is going to be a roomy oracle. I figured since I've been here doing readings on the fly while I've already got everything set up, might as well throw in a roomy, right? Roomies are always nice. So spirit, what what message do you have for, for those who may need it um, for the next week? Message to you. We have blessing of Al Kahim. Al Hakim? Al Kahim. Number 40. Let's see. Sell your cleverness and buy bewilderment. Cleverness is opinion, bewilderment is vision. The gift of wisdom, the blessing of Al-Hakim, gurgles up from your heart. Her blessing is evoked by life, like the laughter of a babe, joyfully responding to the playful tickle of the mother's hand. Wisdom can be made, oh sorry, wisdom can make divine sense of anything, especially of that where logic is blinded. How I revere the blessing of Al-Hakim, of wisdom, for she is precious and welcome to me now and always, the dear friend who brings me such peace. A blessing of divine wisdom of Al-Hakim is being ministered to your soul. Watched over by Rumi himself, this is soul medicine. It is a spiritual gift of healing, prophecy, insight, and the ca capacity to surrender any impatient claim for what you cannot yet have. As you receive this gift, this blessing, which happens at a soul level, your attitude to life becomes more curious, open, still, and receptive. You no longer have to drive the unfoldment of your desires into form. You rest in assurance that your daily application and effort is enough, and so you surrender. And so is your surrender. My apologies. I'm getting old. I can't see so well. We must have patience. Mental anguish is soothed, and you are able to accept the unfathomable nature of divinity in its expression of itself as life. You become comfortable with the reality that the price of being closer to the divine is the giving up of your need to always understand. From this place of increasing stillness, great activity will flow. You shall become capable of being the surrendered vessel to the guiding divine hand. And truly, great contributions to the human soul evolving can occur through you. So much will simply emerge, erupt, pulsate, and emanate out of you, and yet you will feel within as though you are doing nothing at all, even while so much is happening through you. Such holy paradox shall become your daily experience. You may feel unexpectedly, perhaps, that in some ways your vision for your life and purpose, your divine passion is clearer than ever before and in other ways completely unknown to you, a discovery yet to be made. That is as it should be. Wisdom bestowed upon us is the same capacity to work with the opportunities that are right before us, to release situations and circumstances that have passed, and to allow the future to take its shape according to the inevitable timing of life itself. This oracle comes with special guidance for you, if you are uncertain about an issue in your life, be at peace. There is divine healing that can occur most readily in the unknowing. 
follow the sacred honoring ritual and know that all is indeed well, beloved soul. Perhaps you are journeying very deep indeed, and your allegiance to your intellectual mind is softening in favor of allegiance to your heart knowing. You may find yourself craving different company with different interests, or finding the world of opinions and debate rather less than your liking, and the worlds of creative expression more nurturing and nourishing to your essence. If this is the case, this oracle comes as confirmation to trust in the changes you feel within, in any and all ways, no matter how insignificant or dramatic they may seem. Know that they are seedlings of a new way that shall grow from one step into an entirely new and more sacred orientation in your life. You will not necessarily have any idea how that will happen or what it will look like. This matters not. The acorn becomes the oak because that is its innate destiny. It happens without any active participation apart from a willingness to grow through life. So it is with the precious blooming now happening within your soul. To know less can bring the greatest gift and blessing of all, to be able to love and therefore live more freely. This oracle also comes with special guidance to bring you peace. Look to the old ways, to the ancient wisdom teachings that run as a vein of life giving love through all traditions. The old wisdoms teach of cycles, of timing, of letting go to allow for new life to happen, and of the greater intelligence and scheme of life to which we must surrender if we are ever to know even a moment's peace. The fire in your belly is a beautiful aspect of you. Just let it be the breath that swirls around and through the heart that ignites it, not the passing, huffing, and puffing of the impatient mind. For when the fire in the belly is fanned by the breath of the heart, you shall have peace and dynamic movement, restful stillness, and soul-inspired action. All at once, you shall become one with the living holy paradox, and the healing power of your love shall know no bounds. So we have this little sacred honoring ritual here. Say aloud, I call on the divine presence that loves me unconditionally, and I surrender into your wisdom. Bless me now with the ability to accept your grace, your bounty, and your gift of my life and all its mystery. Help me learn and grow that I may realize the love that lies within all, including my own being. May I dwell in the loving mystery of sacred compassion. I call upon the wisdom of the ancient ones, those who love me unconditionally and know truth. May your power and knowledge calm my mind and ignite my spirit so that I may be one with love, empowered in peace and purpose. So let it be. And that is the Rumi Oracle message for the next week. And until next time, take care.